Welcome to this week's Coffee and Conversation. And I want to save you and beg you not to be this guy who sent the flowers and balloons you saw at the beginning of the video. Not one dozen roses for Valentine's Day. Two dozen. That's not enough. Look at the balloons. I, there were so many I couldn't even count. And the woman at Sports Clip who got these, I asked her about them. Are they for you or were they for the store? And she said, no, they're for me. And that's how she said it. He went over the top. As much to be acknowledged or get recognition for doing that as anything. And she did not say that in a loving tone because, as you all know, intent matters. That is needy 14-year-old boy energy. Look at me, look at me, look at me. He needs validation. It's kind of pathetic. So my question, once she was done cutting my hair, I asked her, can I ask you a couple of questions? She said yes. I wasn't stupid. I was waiting until the hair was done and we were washing it out and all. I said, does he get you flowers throughout the rest of the year? And she said yes, on her birthday. So in my mind, he's lazy. He goes over the top to get recognition, which is, again, intent matter. So he's not really giving a gift. He's trying to look good. And he gives it to her on her birthday, and he does it on Valentine's Day. And sorry, that's weak-ass little boy shit. Guys, you give flowers on a Thursday because you saw a bouquet that was beautiful, almost as beautiful as your woman. You don't go big and showy so people will go, ooh, look what he did. Again, weak. Okay? The only thing they're doing right is they do have weekly date night, because I asked her that. And so don't be this guy. I'm posting this ahead of Valentine's Day so that you have time, if you were thinking of going big and being showy, rethink that. Because let me tell you, she wasn't impressed with it either. And I sure wasn't. I knew he was kind of sad just from looking at it. Have a great day, guys. Talk to you later.